Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu and I want BTC to run. That's why I'm wearing the shirt today. Run BTC. Yes, BTC needs to run. But I'm going to show you some amazing charts, like five of them. Really cool Bitcoin charts, really cool, powerful DA video by me here in Playa Carmen. <laughs> Was that exciting enough? Yes, let's try to make it more exciting because of changing your voice. Uh, let's jump into the first chart because you need to see all of these charts. Watch the video till the end. Warning, watch the video till the end. Let's jump into the first chart. Bam. This one. Yes, this is a very beautiful chart, guys. This is the weekly chart. The weekly chart. And the weekly chart, we can see that we are moving in this huge channel. You know, moving in a channel means we go from the bottom of the channel to the top of a channel. We go down to the midline of the channel, for example, to the top of the channel. We go to the bottom of the channel and we will try to go to the midline or to the top of the channel. That is what I expect in Bitcoin. Top of the channel around 100k, midline of the channel 85k, bottom of the channel at the moment 47k but slowly going up to 50k again. So yes, we could go sideways a little bit around that 50k and then go up. All possible. I can't predict the time. I only think that it is a path that Bitcoiners will be walking. Let's jump into this chart. Bam. This is the golden cross chart that I shared with you a couple of days or week ago already. And I said when the green line is going to cross the red line, that will be an explosive move in Bitcoin. And it was already starting. Like you can see, we were going up, 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 up to the top of the channel. And we went to the top of the channel and then we bam corrected and that was this stupid crash that we saw yesterday which was a combination of uh, the news a uh, combination of binance combination of uh, Elon musk saying about energy this and that but then still buying dogecoin not going to talk about you again Elon, today by the way but that all caused that crash and at all caused that we didn't see the um for our golden cross play out but we saw now also this death cross and that is a bearish cross and that bearish cross means bam you're going down let's see what is happening because there was not a normal movement in the market and as you can see we bounced from this level so there was a shitload of buy orders somewhere in this area that somebody knew that he needed to play put the buy orders now we are going up and if we want to see in the short term how far we are going up we are going to bam zoom in a little bit and if you're going to zoom in in this chart this is a one hour chart did he be careful tell the people where they are looking at you you're looking at a one hour chart every candle red or green doesn't matter it's an hour and on this one hour chart we saw again the beautiful forming of a pattern and while i was sleeping this pattern was formed and we broke out and if we normally break out of a pattern we break out with the width let's take it over here to be a little bit more safe and it means if we break out we would be breaking out to a level of 54 55,000 us dollar but like you used from me i always say the moment we break out on an hour chart again i was sleeping and um, but we come down we retest that line again check that becomes support and if it comes support then we go up if that doesn't happen then you can have the same situation we saw the last couple of weeks that we go up we try to find support we don't find support and we break down again to this level these two options are there for me i see it already playing out now i woke up a little bit later but you know we went up we are coming down probably retest and then probably go for the 55k in this beautiful weekend because guys remember it is friday and last week at friday i told you the same when friday is over and the suits go to sleep and the cme starts to create a gap because we the coin boys start to trade in the weekend and then bitcoin goes volatile and then bitcoin mostly is traded to the upside uh, by our bulls and by all the people that love to trade bitcoin in the weekend really cool charts guys let's jump into this one bam 
this tweet I really liked because if you want to zoom out and not freak out every day and because you believe that Bitcoin is always running from 2009 till now, we have only been going up and that is what this chart is showing you. This chart is showing you we are always going up. Net result after the turkey ban, the US tax fund, the fake Tashi law suits, the fake Tashi law suits, the Ellen Tesla energy fund, is that Bitcoin still is five times higher than six months ago. And both the stock to flow X model and the on-chain data indicate that we are only halfway this bull market. I would not be surprised to see another five times in the next six months. As you can see on the chart, the green dot over there is being created over there there was a green dot as well here if you look to the 2018 area and then after that green we went into the red and the red was above that white line after this green we will go into the red and the red will probably be above that white line again so for me yes i love how a plan b always tweets this but Guys, by the way, if you want to trade all of that, go to our YouTube channel. You are already looking at the video at the moment, but maybe what you can do is you go down below the video. Let's, let's click a video and then down below the video, Introducing you speech will one. find Starship you will find a description of the video in that description you see all the links if you use those links use the bybit link to sign up to bybit you get a thousand dollar bonus up to a thousand dollar bonus um, if you use those links we will earn some fees those fees we share with poor people all over the world i'm not buying a lamborghini as you see in all my videos i'm not living the rich life i'm not buying a house we are spending it to poor people you can use the bybit link to claim uh, up to sixteen hundred dollars still i think you can use the prime X link to get a 50% bonus you can use the buy dance link you can use the do this links for a $300 bonus please use these links and if you can't find the description then go to the first comment down below the video because that comment is always a comment that I make with the newest links so if you click those links you are helping poor people all over the world because I will share it and I will share it also in these videos okay that was enough about um, shilling my links now let's jump into these really beautiful charts that you need to see as well because it's Friday I want you to have a very zen zen feeling I guess oh I'm going into the weekend not stressing about Bitcoin that feeling I will give you it bam um, these charts these are not readable Didi I don't know what the hell you're doing again this chart is the glass no chart this chart you can see that there was a huge inflow into the exchanges before the dump you can see that over here this is the i'm going to draw because if i don't draw you don't track where i'm at you can see here there was a huge inflow from the miners to the exchanges not only from the miners guys but also from the normal people so there was just i will keep it to it was a huge net transfer volume to the exchanges at this point that was exactly before the dip which is really strange isn't it it was before the dip this is where the inflow was bam this is where the dip was so it means that a lot of people were sending their bitcoins to the exchange to sell which means we should have known this, but I was too busy to pay attention to it. Now we can see the opposite. Here you can see that now again the opposite is, working, is, is happening. Now there is a lot of inflow um, into the ex uh, out, to, uh, out of the exchanges again. So now people are flowing their bitcoins from the exchanges. So they took their profit, they take their bitcoins out of the exchange and they are waiting for bitcoin to go up again to take another profit. So that is what this chart is showing you. Now we are going to take a look at this chart. Oh wait, I, 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 yes, I already thought that, of course Didi, your, your, your face is again in front of the screen. So here I will tell you, I tell it again, sorry guys. So in the bottom over here, this there, you can see there that there now again is an outflow of the exchanges yeah, into the wallets of people and here was the inflow so that is now without my face in front of the beautiful numbers of the chart which is more important bam let's jump into this one now again i need to move my face to this side yes here and um, charts btc created this side uh, this um, chart i love his chart i really like how he is uh, sharing his knowledge in charts this is the bitcoin cycle peak index this is the cycle the previous cycle peak and this is the amount of uh, we have been growing since that peak so look at the blue peak i will draw again this blue peak over there the new cycle peak was 39 times higher than that peak 
and now we look to the red peak that was over there the new cycle peak that was the peak in 2014 was seven times 17 times higher and now we have this white one over there that is the december 2017 peak at the moment we are 2.6 times higher so the two runs before we went 39 39 times higher and 70 times higher and we are now at 2.6 times higher this means in my opinion that if we would continue to grow how it grows that the white peak was in between the red and the blue one so for me we would be ending somewhere in between these peaks somewhere over there and uh, which could be possible but you know let's see this is at least what i read on the charts then let's jump into this chart bam this chart is the cycle bottom so you can see the moment we bottomed out with the red or the blue lines in this area we went from that moment times 539 in the blue line which is the 2011 bottom line so that's the run to the bull run top in 2013-14 at 112 times in this one over there and then we have the white line now we are at 15.9 so 500 115 that doesn't sum up to me so also here guys i expect that we will go up from here with the ai ah, yeah, wrong tool that we will go up from the white line over there and we will go up to somewhere you know whatever there maybe even there we don't know but we will go higher than 16 times because 16 times is way too low if you look at the complete cycles that we went through in all the other markets let's jump into the next chart this one bam also very important these are the bitcoin drawdowns from the prior all-time high so that means from the prior all-time high we went down to 20k I will draw again dd huh. say focus 90k top we drew down 84 percent 3129 bottom and now we can see again you know this huge cup before as well and then it's drying up here the water that's going up and that's the bull run and now we can see we had that bottom here again we had that huge you know um, bottom period and it's becoming less and less like we can see here a minus uh, 85 minus 43 here it was minus 90 minus 62 now we had minus 57 minus 23 we are drying up and the moment we see this area again over there that will be the bull run the moment that is forming already here and will be forming longer and longer longer like this that will be the bull run so that will mean that the bitcoin price will be going higher than the 100k level that we see over there guys not a really cool chart uh, another chart bam oh my god did you how many charts today this is the last chart guys so the last chart. i want you to be happy i want you to be singing don't worry I be happy run btc with dd something like that whatever doesn't mean um uh, did he stop that okay 2015 16 17 2018 19 20 21 you can see the bitcoin bull market drawdowns this is a drawdown during the bull market so the numbers that you see over here the red area this is the <laughs> why is it it's the red area um, that that one is forming the cups down there so every time you see this huge uh, drawdown in the market it's a buying opportunity because after that we dry up and the price goes up so buy sell buy sell you see what i mean buy sell buy sell that's how you should or could have played the whole bull run in 2017 now we see the same thing happening again so you buy in the bottoms and the drawdowns and you sell at the top and then you buy back at the bottoms you know and you could sell at the top this is the game you can play in a long term um, like four hour to one day or chart um, but it is very clear that every time that we see this huge peak downwards in the red we go up in price afterwards because we can look to the left over here and we can see that it always happened so now we saw this huge peak in red again i expect again that we will form this beautiful uh, how do you say this this is a cave <laughs> whatever you call it so the price is going to go up again and explode above 80k all these charts are telling me that whatever happens at the moment it is really oh sweaty 
But whatever happens, whatever person, whatever institute, whatever fuck they try to create, Bitcoin will survive. So Ellen and all those people, they will create fud. They will want to push the price down. The moment the price pushes down, all news artic articles afterwards are creating even more fud and more negativity to push the price more down. This is the game that has been played, been played by the media and every asset of life. Also in Bitcoin, guys, you just need to chill the fuck out, understand to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in a life. Don't pay attention to that fud because today again, Michael Saylor was saying, I bought 270 Bitcoins for 15 million. That's why I say he already has 90,000 Bitcoins. That's a little bit more than Elon Musk, guys. So um, I think that Michael Saylor may be be the real uh, guy, the, the, the real captain that is going to sail us to the moon when it comes to Bitcoin, believing in Bitcoin. But who knows? Maybe he will be the next billionaire that will dump it. We don't know. The only thing we know is that we can ride this beautiful run all the way up to the moon with dips and with bottoms. And we can buy that bottom and the dip and we can sell the top and we can buy the dip and we can sell the top along the way. And to do that, I created some indicators, the BAM indicators, the TikTok indicators, the BFAT that will help you with that. If you want more, inf more information about that, then please do visit our Discord server. You will find the link down below the video. And if you click it, you go to the Discord server, you will find 5,500 same minded people that want to trade, that want to talk about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Now stop talking. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment like Didi, your sweaty forehead. <laughs> Uh, wear your cap so you ha don't have the sun in your eyes and you can uh, open your eyes. Look in within. Are you happy with the life that you're living? Now I sound like a guru, but again, give a comment and thank you for watching the video. Enjoy the family video later today as well. And tomorrow, a Dutch AMA on Saturday and Sunday, an English AMA. Ask me everything live on YouTube. Thanks. I wish you an amazing Friday, a beautiful weekend, and see you later. Bam! That was the only bam this video? Hmm, I don't know. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> oh no, that's another song, I think. Yeah, thank you for watching.